Yo, my G, what are you saying? My G. What up, what up, and greetings! So I'm back once again with a top 5 list from Mean Streets of Gadgetan. Before the expansion hits today or tomorrow, if you're living in Europe, I just want to finish with the third list with the top 5 most underrated cards or overlooked cards. This is not going to be in any particular order. I just want to throw 5 cards that I think are better than people expect of them to be and I think that they will find their way into a couple of decks. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight into number five. So number five on my list is a neutral, is a big time rocketeer and now you think that this card is pretty bad. I don't really think it's that bad. After all, it's a six mana seven seven worth of stats. But what it really will shine with is cards like Bran. I do realize that Bran is only going to be in standard format for the next couple of months before it rotates out with the BRM and Grand Tournament expansions as well. But until then, this card might potentially be really, really crazy in combination with Bran. I know that there's a lot of cards that it can become pretty crazy in combination with Bran, but this is definitely one of them and you can still play it in what afterwards. There's interesting combinations with cards like Shadow Step with uh, Brewmasters and returning this card back to your hand and replaying it. The interesting part is that the opponent is probably going to try to deal with a 6-6 Ogre rather than the 1-1, meaning that you can return it to your hand at a later stage of the game because he might be overlooked on the board unless he's removed with something like a Fleshy Tingle and then execute on uh, the Ogre. But that's, you know, I still think that this card is better than people give it credit for. It ended up on like, you know, two uh, rating in the poll that was done on Reddit. And I think that it's slightly better than that. Number four on my list is the new grimy addition to Warrior. It's the grimy gadgeteer for four mana for free, which is a terrible stat line admittedly, but it buffs a minion in your hand by plus two plus two at the end of your turn. So it already is a six, five, four of stats for four mana. The first time, yeah, okay, you have to play the second minion out of your hand, but this can potentially snowball out of hand if left on board unchecked. If you don't remove this minion on the first turn and you still have a minion at the end of your next turn in hand, that's already plus four plus four buff, which is really, really good, actually. And I think a lot of people are looking at this card as a sort of screw junk clanker of GVG. When Max came out, Warrior got the worst additions, but I don't think it's the case in this expansion. I think it might be worse than the Paladin card that buffs all of your minions in hand by plus one plus one, but it's definitely not as bad as people give it credit for. Number three on my list is Jade Shuriken. Now this card, if you don't combo it, it's pretty bad because you can already play a backstab for zero mana. Backstabs work perfectly with gadgets and auctioneers and stuff like that. Uh, that being said, I'm not too sure if Miracle decks or Jade Lotus decks are going to be better going forward in Rogue. This card, however, seems to be better than people give it credit for. It can do two damage to any target. It doesn't need to be undamaged. So in that sense, it's somewhat like a... SI7 Agent, which without being comboed is actually a pretty terrible card. Now this card without being comboed is just 2 damage for 2 mana, you're overpaying. But if you summon a Jade Golem, at that point it might already be a 2-2, two -two, you know, or higher if you played that 1-1 one -one with Defrado summon a Jade Golem the turn before and you sacked it. This card might actually find a lot of utility in Rogue decks. It does two things. You know, so it does damage and summons a Jade Golem, which is, you know, a good deal getting two for one because usually cards will do one or the other. I think it will find place in the Jade Golem decks when it comes to Rogue and I think that people are actually quite underestimating the Jade Shuriken. Okay, number two on my list is the new Shaman cards. I know Shamans, they're getting devolved. They're already getting stuff that they don't really need, like white eyes. But anyway, why I think that this Illusionist is actually better than people gave it credit for is because it's a free five for four mana. Now there's not much to complain about there. Yeah, it's one attack less than a Yeti, but with the power, it's actually pretty sweet because if left unchecked, this minion can trade into something else. And then in the fear of becoming a six mana minion, that can be sometimes bad. Sometimes it can be very, very good if it changes into Care and Sylvanas and all that, you know, good stuff. And the opponent might actually decide to kill it with a spell after it's traded into minion, which means that you've already got two for one 
on a 4 mana card, that's not too bad. And if you attacked into a minion, you killed it, and then you attacked your opponent's face, then it turned into a Sylvanas or a Cairn. This is actually insane value, and I don't think that people are quite realizing it, how strong this card can be if left unchecked. It certainly changes the opponent's line of play once you play it on board, because he needs to prioritize the card, similar to cards like Doomsayer and things that if you, if you leave them there, Tunnel Truck as well is gonna punish you uh, later on, so yeah, I think this Lotus Illusionist is actually pretty good. And number one on my list is the new Warlock spell, and I think that a lot of people have completely forgot about this card, or, you know, because of cards that are already in Warlock, they think that it's very, very bad, but it's unlike those cards that destroy your mana crystal, it's Blast Crystal Potion. For four mana, it destroys any minion, any minion, and that's very important, it doesn't just deal five damage, it doesn't just silence the minion, it doesn't do eight damage, but it kills any minion, you know, okay, it can be a Malagos for four mana, and destroying one mana crystal, you can kill a Malagos. And that's actually pretty important, I think, in Rush decks or in Discolok and Zulok that is appearing all around the place. Because at a certain stage in the game, uh, you stopped caring about mana, right? Because you can tap, you can play all your hand, usually there's nothing in your hand anymore and you still have mana left over. So destroying one mana crystal at a later stage in the game for Warlock means barely anything if you are playing a Disco Lock or a Rush deck. If you're a hand lock, then it's a different story, but even in Reno Lock decks, I believe that this card might show up as a one-off with Siphon Soul being two mana more expensive and you can only include one Siphon Soul if you want to play a Reno deck. So yeah, this card is actually being deemed as bad but I think it's very, very good, and I'm kind of afraid of the big taunt walls falling apart because of this card. Uh, there's going to be a lot of Dragon Priest decks, presumably, and those decks will have taunts, and this kills taunts and allows you to push to face more, push that one extra turn to face uh, that you need to finish your opponent off, and yeah, it's definitely not as good as Polymorph, it's not as good as Hex, but I would never give Polymorph to Warlocks. <laughs> so this card is actually very balanced, in my opinion, uh, on the stronger side, and people think that it's very, very bad, and I don't agree. So, yeah, that's my number one. Guys, what did you think of this list? Do you agree with me, disagree with me? Why? Please let me know in the comment sections below. I can't wait until the expansion hits tomorrow. It's been a very long time and I've got my gold and dust saved to craft all the cards that I want. Haven't pre-ordered, but hopefully I'm gonna have enough. I'll see you at the next video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye. And take care, guys.